the Muller Lyer illusion. What we have here is called as the Muller Lyer board. Okay? And that here the line that you see is called as the standard line. And the line that you can move is called as the variable line. Okay. So uh, throughout the experiment, you know the, uh, the participant, we have Pradyot here who is the participant, he will have to you know manipulate the variable line to match the standard line. Here. So uh, there is something called as the ascending series. Ascending series is wherein uh, I keep it a shorter length and he will have to move it in the ascending manner. And then we have the descending series, which is when I keep the line at a you know, longer length than the standard line and he will have to descend it or bring it closer to match again the standard line. So the whole experiment, the participant will have to match the variable line which the participant can manipulate to you know, match it with the same length of the standard line. So, Rajiv, I hope you understood the instructions. Yes. This is the Mullalaya board okay. and what you have here is called as the arrow head or the feather head and this if you can see is the feather tail right yeah. it is in the shape of tail and this is in the shape of a arrow head correct yeah. yeah all you have to do is now this particular line that is a, that is a standard line it has a particular measurement all you have to do is you will have to manipulate this feather you know tail to the same size of the uh, line between the arrow head or the arrow tail this is called okay. the feather tail or the arrow tail Clear? Yeah. So we will start. You will have 10 ascending and 10 ascending. Clear? So ascending means I will keep it to a shorter distance. Okay. And you will have to move it exactly to the same length, uh, length of the standard line. Okay. Yeah. Any doubt? No. So we will start with the ascending series first. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I'm now it is the descending series. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that will be expected. Okay. Thank you. Uh, my dear students, today we will learn about the administration of uh, the Muller Lyer experiment. You would have seen in the previous video about the view of the participant and what the participant has to do. But as an experimenter, what is it that you are supposed to do? That is what we will be learning now. Clear? I hope you all know by now that the length between these two arrow heads is 16 centimeters and the entire experiment is about moving the feather, the tail, uh, or feather tail or the arrow tail to match the same length of the line between the arrow heads. This is the entire experiment about. And we have two series which is the ascending and the descending series. For the ascending series, you will have to make the line shorter than the standard line and the participant will have to move it. And for the descending series, you will have to definitely make it longer than the standard line and the participant will have to move it towards the arrowhead to match the standard line. Now what do we do as an experimenter? Here, behind the apparatus, there is a scale which shows us what is the uh, reading. 
So whenever the participant moves the variable line, we can know what is the centimeter that they stop at. And that is what we will be noting down in each time. So for ascending, please remember, it has to be made uh, shorter. And for descending, you will have to move it far away. So this is how the experiment goes. It has to be done alternatively, ascending and then descending. And for each time, you will have to make sure or note down in the table that you have the value that they have stopped in or the value which they believe or they assume to be is as same as the standard line that is 16 centimeters.